most incredible. Two, two. DJ Sour Milk. One, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Power 106. Yes. The liftoff show. Just incredible. Sour Milk. Anderson Park is on the liftoff. Yes, Lord. Finally. Man. Yes, yes. Long time man. coming. Just got out the PJ, man. I'm just, you know, feeling good. <laughs> wow. Tough I'm capping. Life. I'm yeah, capping. Tough I was life. in the rows, though. I ain't got no PJ yet. <laughs> Still flying South Central Airlines, but I'm in, I was in the, I was in the I was in the Ghost all day today. Woo, hey that man, was fun. I get used to that. New new albums finished, new ready album, to go. New album, yeah, man. Oxnard, Oxnard, man. Come on, talk to us Dude, about this album. Fourteen, man. just bangers, man. Just we just not letting off. You know, we keeping the foot on their neck. It's big, big records. Ambition, same man, new car. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Right up the coast. Got all these new friends, got all these new experiences and different things to talk about, yeah. you know, and we bringing it back home, you know, trying to keep those same principles that got us where we are now. Right. For, for those that don't, that aren't familiar with Oxnard, uh, tell the people about what it was like growing up there. Uh, you just grow up there wanting to get out pretty much, yeah. you know, <laughs> you yeah. itching to get to the big city. Yeah, that was yeah. me. Yeah. You know, um, it's small town. It's not too far uh, from L.A. to where it's like. You know, just like the country, but it's far enough to where it's got its own vibe. And uh, yeah, man, other than surfing and eating, uh, there's not too much to do, you know. So, you know, a lot of people get into boxing, you mm-hmm. know, like a lot of people get into music. They got some crazy music scenes out there, not just rap and hip hop, but they got a crazy punk rock scene and, you know, some of the best skaters and surfers from out right. there. Um, but it's a lot of nothing to do, so you can get in trouble out there, you know. And and honestly, I was just like itching to get get to the town, you know, and like make it happen. So, yeah. uh, but I really, I really like appreciate being from there now because I feel like it, it helped my perspective. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like things like that you appreciate more as you get older. Yeah, man, I love that I was born there, man, and like just grew up there and had to like, you know, I didn't get out to L.A. till I was like 21, you know. So it was like, it was it was cool that I got to. Yeah, and and I, I feel like people from small towns always take so much more pride. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I honestly, I was trying to think. I was like, damn, like who else has really made it out of Oxnard? Like the the only hip hop group that I could really think of was like Loop Pack Loop back Pack, in the day, Mad but Lid. they didn't even really make it. Mm-hmm. I, I guess to as big as you know where they should have been. But but uh, I feel like coming from small cities, you're you're a lot more passionate. Uh, and take that pride yeah, you, you have that sense of pride a, a lot of, of pride man yeah man it was like it was interesting because like when uh when i was growing up there i was like yeah man i'm go to la man i'm go to la <laughs> you know and then uh and i spent you know over 10 years in la and i was like wait man like this is crazy like the, the, the my foundation is from the city of oxnard you know and, and ventura county in general you know that's a big part of it yeah. so it's like why not go and take over the hometown you know and show them that yo this is different perspective and bring right. it here and let them know like put the city on the map mm-hmm. you know yeah. and do it properly you know so you know that's what is, you know man. drake said ain't about who did it first but who did it right so uh, you know, that's so, right that's yeah. right <laughs> all right now we got features on the project dr dre j cole yeah. Pusha. Yep. Uh, what can you tell Snoop. us about those collab? Yeah, Snoop. Yeah, BJ. Um, man, it was like everybody that I wanted to be on the album, they came through. It was no Hollywood label stuff. If they didn't show up to the studio, they sent it right in. And they was like, I got you. Pusha T was one of the was the first feature I got for the album. Like over two years ago when I started working on the album, I had Brothers Keeper and I was like, ooh, this sound filthy. This is this sound like yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh I was like, I wonder if he'll, you know, get on it. Like I was just I never even met him, you know? Yeah. And it's like, um, and it was crazy because right after that I had a session with Pharrell. And then Lo and behold, Pusha T and, and uh, Ab Lava walk in. And then I was like, oh, man. So we chopping it up. They going over all these, you know, stories and stuff. You know, they done lived crazy life. And uh, I was like, man, I got a record. After, you know, that whole session, I text him. I was like, I think I got a record for us, man. I sent him, and he was sent, sent the arm emoji like this. And then, and then like, the next day, he sent the verse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is how it works. All right, But, but I mean, how how often does, does that happen to where, you know, you'll send somebody a record and they might send you an emoji or, or, or give you the feeling that it's going to happen and then it just never happens? I never experienced that. No? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't happen. My name rings bells. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's, it's coming Talk right back. Shit. No, no, no. Talk uh, your shit. Come on, <laughs> man. No, honestly, yeah, I mean... 
I'm probably the only one that does that to other people. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't want to talk about it because it's no, you know. dude. I, I'm the worst with that because like, I just sent an arm emoji last night. Yes, because yeah. I'll be like, this record hot. I want to get on it, and then man, we go on tour, you know, or then yeah. we go, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I honestly, it was so tough because I was so heavy into my album. Uh-huh. There were so many records that I should have been on, I wanted to be on, and um, I just couldn't divert the energy you know and dre was big on that too like yo man lock just in. focus on this lock and lock in, in you know yeah. you know you got a lot of features out there you, you're kind of straight on that so yeah just focus on your album and i was just like man but this is tight i mean like scissor and Solange <laughs> and you know all the little like everybody's like sending me stuff i want to do stuff but it was like you know i had to like really lock in on it and um yeah man i mean i can't think of any Anytime uh, someone, I mean, probably Kendrick took the longest, but he yeah. got the biggest excuse, you know, he was super <laughs> lit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. his verse came a year or something later, but it came, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was like, happened. cool. I was not trying to bug him. I was yeah. like, hey, man, when you get a chance, all good, man. I, I, yeah. think, I think that the features uh, say a lot about, you know, what what you grew up on. Uh, mm-hmm. there, there's a lot of, you know, legends and future legends that, that you have on the album. Yeah. Um, what what were you into growing up? Was it was it all these guys? Dog Pound, Snoop Dogg, uh, West Side Connection, Dre, yeah, um, Jay Z, Big Jay Z, and Rockefeller, Dipset, Kanye West. Like yeah. when Kanye was the underdog, nobody wanted they didn't take him serious when he was yeah. still making beats for Jay. Uh, what's it? Um, uh, uh, Dilated Peoples. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah okay. So. Um, we was gunning for him. Like, we was the only one in my little high school that was fully dip set out, you know? Like, yeah. nah, man, Kanye gonna kill it. Like, you don't even know. He, you know, Just Blaze, all this stuff, you know? Like, we was uh, everything, you know, Nelly, Ludacris. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was the stuff we came up Messi, Missy, Timberland. Man. man. Timberland, Missy. That yeah. whole. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredible. Leah. Right, right, man. You know, right. that was like, that was my era, man. That was school dances, like, you know? getting freaked on and stuff yeah you know, <laughs> te- teachers separating you yeah all kind of stuff man oxnard dropping november 16th i'm looking at the track list i see you got a song called mansa musa mansa musa what what is what does that mean man richest man in the world at one point gold everything african king right okay you might correct me if i'm wrong you get a fact check my boy Jay Pounds is schooling me on it. When I when they came in, I was one of Dre's songs, and it was writing it, and I was like, man, some moves out the same thing. I was like, man, this was a Jay Pounds was like, well, you don't know, boy, that was the African King had all the gold, richest man in the world, wow. this and that, and so they was flexing on it, and I was like, well, damn, that's Dre's song, I, ain't, I love that, you know. I, I text Dre, I'm like, man, give me that, you ain't gonna put that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> give me that record, man. He's like, nah, I'm gonna hold this one, man. <laughs> and um, we had we was coming, I mean, literally, this was like last week. And we couldn't uh, clear a, a song, and then uh, we were kind of stuck. So he hit me. He was like, "You, you want the Mass Moose track?" I was like, "Yes." <laughs> and uh, he let me have that shit. So he like uh, ended up doing his verse, and, and we just kept building. And, and uh, that was one of the, the the latest joints that we did for them. Damn, that's yeah. so crazy. And Coco man. Sarai, who helped a lot on the album okay. writing and stuff, she's uh, I met her through Dre, and she was on that record too. And so it was sad because like the the record that we couldn't do, she was that was her feature, and, and we couldn't do that record. So I was like, "Oh, dang." And then and she was already on that, so it worked out. Yeah. Yeah, the replacement. Now, from Malibu to this album, what do you feel, you know, the growth, the come up is like? What what, what, what can fans... I'm expect? spitting more on this album. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's got a lot of cojones. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. this album is, yeah, it's not... Yeah. A lot of people putting out, like, real, like, cloudy stuff, chill stuff. Uh, there's a couple of chill joints, but everything got drums. Everything's slapping. The mixes are crazy. It's not, no real sleepy music type, like... You know, t- music to talk over and nothing like right. that. It's like music to like turn up, yeah. dance. Everybody when you dr- on your way up. to Vegas, like uh-huh. you know, j- jamming and stuff. Like you know, I got something for every like vibe too. Got the the hard brothers keeper, like yeah. you know, trap joint. Got the two step joint. Got the you know, ratchet joint. Got the no, nah, I love you joint. You know, <laughs> I got my intro. I got my outro. Yeah, man. Up, Everything man? I wanted to do, creative bliss. That's Good. what this album was, man. That's that's an amazing you know opportunity you know and, and a great space to be in man creatively mm-hmm. to just get to really go in there and do exactly what yeah you want. man just go in bro Take just your like time and yeah he let me run with it man he was just like go ahead man he Drayden we didn't even, he was doing movies and stuff bro we was like the whole first like year and a half he would just let me go mm. and I thought I was done I brought the album back I was like I'm done let's get it he's like nah you about eighty percent I was like wait huh <laughs> wait I'm huh gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do these tours but nah. 
<laughs> so I had to get back in with him two, three weeks, and we ended up cutting a whole new album. And then yeah. that that was like ended up being like the. I was like, wow, this is some of the best material I ever made. It's great, man. Yeah. You you uh you were at the the Mac tribute last night. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the 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 vibe and the energy like in there for for those that that couldn't make it? It was sweet, man. I was having a great time, man. Just seeing everybody that I hadn't seen, you know, so long. It was just like, damn, thanks, Mac. You know, you brought us all together again. I ain't seen Earl. I went on tour with Earl. That was the last time I seen. That was like when No Worries had just came out. They took us on our first tour. And then, like, after that, I was like, I ain't seen him. It's been years. I saw Earl. saw Q. You know what I'm saying? We've done plenty of sessions. Me and Q was, like, hand heavy. You know, everybody, that was such a heavy blow, you know, yeah. to the people that really knew him. Everybody got low, you know, and just, like, so to see everybody come out and just, like, get to see each other again, cracking jokes, you know what I'm saying, and then hit the stage. It was, like, dope. I was meeting all, all the new artists, and it was amazing to see how many people he affected. Like, I don't know how he yeah, managed yeah. to leave an impact on every single art- artist in the game, you know? Mm-hmm. what i'm saying and everybody's got their own stories you know about how they you know was working with them and yeah. it was just amazing to see that bro we got to meet his folks his parents that was yeah. that was that was huge great, yeah wow. r.i.p to mac miller man mac one more miller. question i want to ask you is about you know the picture that, that that surfaced with you dre and q-tip yeah i know tips on the project as well yeah and i know what q-tip you know means to dre and vice versa yeah. like what was that energy like it was annoying they were just fanning out on each other <laughs> Talking about each other's catalog. Hey guys, back to my album. Let's focus. Q-tip, do the drums, do the thing you do. Can you do this? Nah, nah, it was dope. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was dope to see them. Like, that's how it was, though. They were just fanning out. Like, they both, those dudes are the biggest music snobs I've ever met. They don't like anybody's shit. And they love... They're, they're both really fans of each other. Like, and they were saying... Q was like, you know, nah, man, because when they was going neck and neck you know so the sonics you know what they Ooh. were doing it was like you know they were putting out stuff like this is what we got and then drake come out and then you know they come out something oh, and, you know so it was dope to, to see them really working on beat the, the track they made they both made the track together wow. um and just like and then uh q-tip laid his verse and they got to write it to, you know we got to all be in there when he did that and work with him and see how some people don't like being vocal coached or vocal produced you know right. i've seen it go completely bad but Q-Tip was super humbled and like just was like all for it. Whatever you say, Doc, what we want to do? It was so crazy to see, you know, two grown ass men yeah. like, nah, you the shit, nah, you the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. I, I hate to put you in this position, but you're you're stuck on a deserted island. Mm. Um, you have to pick either stupid, tri- 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 no, 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 either tribes catalog or Dre's catalog. I'm trolling, bro. I know you got beef. I know you got beef. <laughs> We just, you know, I thought I saw him outside too. I want to say, he, oh shit, is he down there? They, they know you here, bro. <laughs> Nah, well, nah, you good, you good, bro. You good, right? Yeah, you good. You should be good here. We in LA, you good. Yeah, Yeah, that's comedy. That's Uh, good. Either, you you gotta pick, man. Actually, we're not gonna do that to you. We ain't gonna make you pick. No? Because that's tough. What were you gonna say? Tribe? Tribe's catalog or? (sighs) Ardre's? Yeah. (gasps) Can you pick? It's Dre. What the hell am I supposed to do? (laughs) Wait. Man, that's tough, bro. On an island? I don't get one more choice. Damn. Nah, I just, want to listen just, to some jazz. <laughs> I mean, yeah. D'Angelo? Tribe has a song called yeah, Jazz. Yeah, they do. Close they enough. do. But dang, man. That's crazy. Nah, we ain't going to do that to you, Don't man. do that, man. Ain't gonna yeah. mess it. I'm having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't going to do that. My album has a release date. Let's yeah, keep like, it all good. Get the call. I'm like, all wait. Shelf me. The, yeah, the, the, I don't the like pre-order. that shit you said, the, man. Yo, the pre My catalog is fire. Nope. You gonna set this one out? <laughs> Yo, yeah, for real. Pre-order, Oxnard. No, pre-order. Let's team. pre-order. We love you, Dre. Thanks for everything. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to the whole team, the yeah. whole aftermath team. Yep. Let's go after get a my... Grammy, man. Let's, let's go, go snatch Grammy. one. Let's grab oh my God. That's right. Thank you for coming on the lift. Thank off, you for man. having me, man. As it's... soon as the album, it's album time, you know where to come, man. We right here. We are gonna go crazy on the radio and in these clubs for you, bro. Keep Thank that you. Heat coming. Appreciate it. Yes. Right. Thank yeah. you. Power one hundred and six. Yes, love.